What's up guys, Yulio here, bringing you the new Miss of Pandaria 5.3 Heroic Scenarios. Today we have a special guest, his name is Sacred Heels, I'm sure some of you have heard of him. Anyway, enjoy our journey through the secrets of Ragefire Chasm. First things first, you have a click ability, which is pretty much the exact same as the Goblin Racial. The only difference is that it does 175 to 375,000 damage in an AoE. The first NPCs you are going to encounter are a bunch of Horde, who are very mad that you have made your way into their chamber. They are simple to kill, just spank and tank and move out of their AoE abilities. They are very susceptible to crowd control. The first boss you are up against is a Dark Shaman called Exoreneth, who is accusing the Goblins of being a lesser race of the Horde faction. The goblins retaliate to his comment and plan to show him who is exactly the lesser race. Dark Shaman Exoranath first ability is called Twisted Elements. It's a 2.5 second cast and it hits for about 60 to 100k. It can be spell reflected back to him or it can be simply interrupted. Exoranath's second ability is called Ruined Earth. It lasts for about 15 seconds and it cannot be interrupted. The only way to survive the Ruined Earth is to move out of its path before it explodes, causing anywhere from 100 to 200k damage so be sure to move out of its way. Final ability from Dark Shaman Exoranath is actually a summon. He summons a totem called Glacial Freeze Totem. The totem casts a spell called Glacial Freeze, which stuns you in place for about 5 seconds. You can simply just outrange the totem to avoid being stunned. This is all of the Dark Shaman's ability. He's relatively easy, just move out of the AoE, and he's pretty much spank and tank. So, after defeating the Dark Shaman, you're now onto stage 2 of the instance. All you have to do here is investigate the Proto Drake Eggs, the Supply Crates, and the Pandarian Artifacts, in whichever order you choose. So you finish stage 2, you're now onto stage 3. Stage 3 requires you to meet up with Grit and Ticker at the gate. They're discussing on whether he can open it up. The items he requires to open the gate, you must get manually. They require you to receive 3 cannonballs, 2 batteries, 1 pool of pony, and 1 egg yolk to be delivered to Grit and Ticker. Every time you grab one of the items required to blow up the door, a bunch of mobs will spawn. They're very easy to kill, so there's not much strat required. So you've now completed stage 3, where you successfully blew up the door. You're now on to stage 4, which is the final stage. What you have to do is defend the goblin squad as best as you can. A bunch of mobs will spawn. There's 4 per pack. They're not very hard to kill, just simply kill them and move on to the next pack. The third pack you're going to fight is going to have a Corcoran Dire Soldier. He has a considerable amount of health and will take a little bit extra burning him down. So after defeating the third pack, the Overseer Elgolo will finally engage into the fight. He has an ability which is called Shattering Stomp, which leaves an AoE effect on the ground. It hits really hard and you need to move out of the way. As you can see, I totally moved out here, tunnel vision, and I died to the AoE. So we wiped. But after a quick think, I thought, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to kite the boss around the outside of the room so that all of his AoE stays on the outside, my healer and DPS can stay on the outside, and I can just pull him along the wall. Unfortunately, what I didn't realise is that he randomly charges a person in your group, and the AoE, unfortunately, some of it hit in the middle, but it's easily avoidable. My teammates were alert, and they just moved out of the way.
And that's it guys, that's the end of the secret of Rage Guy Chasm. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you'd like to see more of this, please leave a comment and let me know what you want to see. Thanks very much to Sacred Heels and to Anioff for helping me complete this. I hope you guys enjoyed, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed, you'll you out.